Brazilian athletes have long been an integral part of the mixed martial arts world. At different times, there were such guys as Royce Gracie, Jose Aldo, Charles Oliveira, and a huge number of other fighters, for the enumeration of which we would need a separate video. But we're going to talk a little bit about something else today, and more specifically, about a particular Brazilian phenomenon who differs significantly from most of his compatriots. A true Brazilian titan, capable of knocking out his opponent with a single punch. A man who still remains a threat to the entire division. And as you might have guessed, we're talking about Paulo Borachinha Costa. Very soon, at UFC 294 in Abu Dhabi, he will face a tough test in the form of one of the most capable and promising fighters of the present time, Kamza Chimaev, and is a true Chechen treat, capable of stopping just about anyone. This guy will go straight ahead, absolutely unafraid of the powerful Brazilian's pressure, and stylistically, this fight should be very interesting. And that's why we decided to familiarize yourself with the Brazilian's career, and to be more precise, to demonstrate five moments when Paulo Costa shocked the whole world. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And here we go. In December 2015, a young and incredibly hungry for victories, Paulo Costa found himself in the Jungle Fight promotion, which is a real forge of Brazilian mixed martial art fighters. Paulo's first fight took place against Bruno Assis, who was knocked out in the first round in the easiest way and at the expense of this victory, goes to the fighter for the vacant title of Jungle Fight Champion in the middleweight division. The opponent becomes a strong compatriot, Eduardo Ramon, who, like Paolo, is very hungry. The first fight began in a slow manner. Paolo was probing the distance, at the same time delivering good kicks with his legs, to which his opponent tried to respond with a series of punches which were almost unsuccessful. It was immediately obvious that it was very difficult for him to cope with the pressure of Borachinha. Ramon was constantly being pinned to the net, and his actions were not the most competent. That's not surprising when your opponent is Paulo Costa. You could see on Eduardo Ramon's face that he saw absolutely no keys to victory. Costa certainly felt it, and already in the third minutes of the first round, he dropped his opponent and started to cold-bloodedly hammer him in the parter, to which Ramon tried to defend himself and went straight into a chokehold. Thus, Paulo Costa won the first victory by submission in his career. Paulo At the moment, this is the last fight Paulo Costa has had, and this fight was incredibly important to him. Because first, coming off a title shot, he suffered a not-so-pleasant knockout loss to Nigerian Israel Adesanya. This was followed by a tough fight against Italian Marvin Vittori, in which the Brazilian was defeated by unanimous decision of the judges. Before this fight, Costa had weight problems, which forced him to move the bout to light heavyweight. All this significantly damaged Paolo's reputation, and he had to win against the tough veteran Rockhold. Luke Rockhold hasn't fought since 2019, but he was previously one of the most technical fighters on the roster. His return was originally scheduled for the fall of 2021. The opponent was supposed to be the current middleweight champion, Sean Strickland, but Luke had to withdraw from the fight due to an injury and eventually he managed to enter the octagon only in the summer of next year. At the press conference, the two fighters had an altercation, and in the end, they both went into the fight with the desire to beat the crap out of each other. Many expected Costa to knock out Rockhold in the first round, but the veteran was not so easy. The bout against Johnny had the first real big name. For those not in the know, Johnny Hendricks was once a real star in the UFC promotion. He's fought a huge number of real UFC tops, such as Robbie Lawler and George St. Pierre. He also held the welterweight belt. Before meeting him, Paolo had fought and beaten only mediocre opponents, and despite the fact that Hendricks was at the very end of his career, he was still quite dangerous, and many, especially Paolo's haters, predicted a victory for Johnny. They met at UFC 217. The fight began... Johnny Hendricks, his latest victory. And I come in here to show for to the world who I am. Paulo Costa and Uriah Hall faced each other in a bout at UFC 226 while they were ranked adjacent to each other in the UFC middleweight rankings. Costa was at number 10 in the rankings at the time, while Uriah Hall was a notch higher and was at number 9. This fight was incredibly important for both of them, as Uriah's Hall record in his last four fights was 1 and 3, not in his favor. And in order to get himself back in the title race, he absolutely needed to win. 
and Paulo Costa was making his way to the top of the UFC at an incredible pace, and Uriah Hall was the obstacle he needed to sweep away to get closer to the title. Many thought that Uriah Hall had a good chance of beating the Brazilian knockout artist, but unfortunately for him, that's not the case. The fight started to press from the very first few seconds, driving Hall closer to the net and trying not to give him space for maneuvers. Uriah proved to be more experienced than most of the Brazilian's previous opponents are, parrying Costa's heavy strikes, and he also hit very good jabs which made the Brazilian uncomfortable, but never sticks to the body. In the second round, Costa continued to press his opponent, working well with both single punches and series of punches. At the third minute of the second round came the moment when Uriah took too much damage and after a few final punches from the Brazilian, fell to the canvas and the referee had to intervene and stop the fight. An incredible performance from Paulo Costa, which cemented his right to be at the real top of his division. Paulo Costa does it again! Wow! Thank you, Uriah. I'm here to show my all my potential, my powerful. I go to the belt. At UFC 241, Paulo Costa faced off against the real Cuban monster, Yoel Romero. This fight was awaited by everyone as the two of the most intimidating and powerful middleweights met on the battlefield. In addition, there was even a peculiar history of conflict between the fighters which greatly fueled interest in the event. So, it was August 17, 2019. Both fighters came out to the fight in maximum readiness, though in Israel Adesanya. But still, all is not lost for Costa, and there is a big test ahead and a good chance for him to get back into the title race. But for that, he needs to defeat a real UFC star, undefeated Hamzat Boris Chimaev. Do you think Costa will be able to defeat Chimaev? Be sure to write your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.